Hello everyone, my name is Brendan and today we're going to be taking a look at the Supplier Performance Risk System, also known as the SPRS. As many of you are probably already aware, the SPRS is being used by the DOD to identify, assess, and monitor unclassified performance throughout contractors within the DIB. The SPRS supports a number of different regulatory and policy requirements uh, such as NIST SP800-171 assessment results, and these results are needed by the DOD in order to award contracts to contractors. And this is especially true with the new contract clauses 252.204-7019 and 7020, which are part of the new DFARS interim rule. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to log in and what you can expect with the SPRS. So for starters, we're going to want to use the login with the PIEE, and the PIEE is the Procurement Integrated Enterprise Environment. So once you're here, this is just a system that is used by the Department of Defense and other government branches, and it's pretty much just a single sign-on for different kinds of services that they offer. So we're going to go to login. We're going to hit accept here. And then right here in this section, we're going to log in with a user ID. Now, if you do not have a user ID, the SPRS and PIEE have actually created a little sheet here to give guidance on how to actually create an account and register and then get into that account. So what you're going to want to do is look for the register button on the PIEE page. You're going to then submit your information. You will set up a username, then you're going to decide what kind of roles to assign your user account. And then all the way at the end, you're going to be able to add SPRS access to one of the users in your PIEE account. And that person will then be able to log into SPRS. So here we have our user ID and our password entered, and now we're going to have to enter the CAPTCHA before logging in. And then once you've done this, you're going to want to go to the SPRS under the award section here. Once you've logged into the SPRS, you'll be able to see your organization name, the user that you're currently logged in as, uh, the cage hierarchy that you have established, and your HLO or highest level owner. But what we're looking for here is the NIST SP800-171 assessment. So we're going to click on that, and we will be presented with the actual DOD assessment methodology here. This is what needs to be entered at time of contract award as per those two contract clauses, 7019 and 7020. So if you don't have a company name here, which you won't if this is your first time signing on, you're going to have to create a new one here. And this is extremely simple. You'll enter in your HLO code. You'll enter in the assessment standard, which is going to be NIST SP800-171, and then the confidence level, which is going to be basic because you are performing a self-assessment. Self-assessments are always going to have the confidence level of basic. So let's go back, and once you have this established here as a header, you'll be able to click it, and then you will be able to add a new assessment. So once you create a new assessment, you're going to have to enter in the assessment details. You're going to have to enter in things like the assessment date, the score, the assessing scope, your plan of action completion date, some information about your system security plan or SSP, and then you can include your cage code and your HLO. Now, one good thing to note is the system security plan section was actually just added on December 14th. So if you've already uploaded your assessment details, you're going to have to go back down and edit it to include your SSP name, the revision, and the date of the SSP. So now you might be wondering, how do you get your assessment score? And we actually went ahead and created a new website called cmmc-central.org. And we're going to have this link down in the description of this video as well. But let me just give you a brief overview of what this website is. So. On our website, we're going to have blog posts, we're going to have an FAQ, we have all of our CMMC videos here. But one of the coolest things that we have here is 
the SPRS NIST 80171 calculator. And what this calculator allows you to do is you can go through and select the current status, the implementation status of each control in NIST 80171. And this is following the DOD's assessment methodology. So once you select, you know, if you don't have something implemented or for some controls, you can have them partially implemented, like control 3.5.3. .3. Once you're done selecting which ones you have implemented, not implemented, and partially implemented, back at the top, you're going to be able to see your current score. Now, something that you can also do is export this into a spreadsheet and keep it for your own records. Once we have our current score, we can head back over to the SPRS and start entering in our assessment details. So we're going to start with the date. Let's say we did ours on December 1st. We're going to enter in our score, which was 102. We're going to enter in the assessing scope, and there's three options here, and if you don't know what any of these mean, you can hover over these options here on the SPRS, and it'll give you some information about the field and the options that are available. So we're going to go with Enclave. We're going to list the plan of action completion date, so we think we're going to have them all completed by March 31st. Then we're going to enter in the name of our system security plan that was assessed. So. Then we're going to list the SSP version and then the date that the SSP was created. So let's say it was created back on December 31st of 2019. Then we can include our cage and our HLO. So once you press save, your assessment details are going to be saved into the SPRS. You're going to see all the information that you just added down here in this section. And then the DOD can also see this information. Now, we are aware that some prime contractors are asking for a screenshot of this to be entered in. So you'll probably want to take a screenshot of one of these lines down here with all the information that you just added. And at any time, you can go ahead and edit a assessment or delete an assessment. So once you've saved your assessment details into the SPRS, you're going to then be compliant with DFARS 252.204-7019, which requires you to upload a basic assessment for future contract award. That's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for future videos where we'll continue to talk about DFARS and the CMMC. If you'd like to see a specific video, just leave a recommendation down in the comment section also. Thank you. Have a good day.